very good afternoon to all of you. Uh, today, we shall complete uh, the complete information regarding to the quick search. We shall complete the quick search today. So before going to complete the quick search, previously what we have uh, seen, in the previous class what we have seen, let us uh, go quickly. So previously we have uh, taken We have taken who were introduced for this uh, Pixar algorithm and what is the basic problem of Pixar algorithm has taken in the, in the, in the previous session. Tony Hore is the person who introduced this Pixar in 1962 and it is uh, very important uh, uh, to be a uh, no doubt is uh, it is a development of a technique based application. And uh, followed by it is in place, in place sorting algorithm. So there is no extra space is required for uh, so sort the list of elements. Then efficient in terms of uh, storage, and it is uh, very practical and it is a performance tuner. So while you have to queue and uh, sort the given list of elements, it could be taken very, very, very less time, less time to perform. <clears throat> And uh, we have to, what is the technique which we have to follow in, uh, in, in Pixar is we have to select one of the elements as a pivot and identify after completion of, uh, uh, after completion of all recursive files, identify where exactly the place of a pivot. So that is the point which we'd like to concentrate. And based on this one, so we have to take into consideration and the same divided conquer approach will be gets operated. So, uh, uh, sublist of uh, sublist which is less than the pivot elements and the sublist which is greater than the pivot element. Okay, the pivot element. So, they might having some number of elements uh, before, I mean, less than or equal to which are less than or equal to pivot element, and they might have some number of elements which are greater than or equal to the pivot element. And uh, so, uh, in the, the previous session, I have asked you. So, I mean, in the uh, second assignment, I have asked you, uh, please uh, uh, write the, the, the uh, quick start algorithm and everybody, most of the people have written and the most of the pe people have submitted also. So, for that particular point of view, I would like to show you that particular application. Again, <clears throat> many people have submitted. I'd like to show so that application because that application uh, would not be taken so, uh, big wall of uh, n log n, big wall of n log n. I'd like to show you. So, what are the uh, applications which I have uh, taken into consideration? Pixar algorithm has already posted. I think I have posted. Uh, so, uh, it could be okay. It could be okay. It is uh, the solution which I have uh, posted and uh, submissions. Uh, classwork. Let me take the classwork here. Then I could identify. Yeah, divide and conquer. Uh, divide and conquer assignment two. So assignment two will be taken into consideration. Let me take uh, so these <coughs> assignments here. So let me open one of the one of the uh, one of the people's uh, record. Uh, not exactly all. One of the people's record. Okay, it could be lisible to see here. It could be very much lisible to see. So look at this, observe this particular application here, uh, whatever uh, the application, I mean, uh, uh, partition application, partition function you have written for uh, Pixar, let me go ahead. Okay, you did not write any partition algorithm here. Okay, however, directly you have taken. So you can observe this particular area. So let me copy, let me copy. Okay, let me copy this one. Let me copy this particular point to uh, paint brush, then it is uh, very easy to explain. Very easy to explain for me. So, look at this. So, you have taken uh, this particular kind of thing here. Uh, if first is less than or equal to less than last, and you have to perform your operations here. So, you have to perform your operations here. And uh, you have select the first element will be whatever the so first element uh, actually it is not. Uh, it is not first actually, it is A of first or area of first element here. So this is area of first, we have select some something like this. And I will be taken this one and the J will be taken like uh, this one here. 
so here we have uh, you have taken one specific uh, so one specific kind of uh, while loop here and within this particular loop we have select we have given two more while loops so level of nesting well as far as this particular point of view is concerned too so first while loop open brace and here second while loop has been taken okay, so here also open brace close and close you have taken something like this not exactly what i have written here so two while loops have been taken if you take uh, uh, nesting level two already we have discussed nesting level two then it would be always leads you we go up and square we go up and square already we have taken we have taken this particular point in the previous uh, classes so we go up and square then you people are claiming that so i don't know uh, yeah you, you people are claiming that not exactly you you may be knowing or unknowing that doesn't matter for me but uh, many of uh, the people have claiming that best case will be n into log n worst case will be so uh, we go up n square and average case will be so we go up for uh, n log n okay so uh, then uh, in this way you have for claiming and then how could you say you have written the algorithm in terms of uh, so level of nesting to how could you say that this could be n log n n log n is uh, very much less than if you consider so if you consider so big o of n square uh, is very much greater than n log n so i'd like to give you n log base to n i'd like to give you an example if uh, n will be equal to some 8 so 8 into log n in the sense so this could be taken so 8 into so 2 power 3 so therefore it is 3 and here which is less than 8 square so 8 threes are 24 uh, so operations are required whereas uh, 8 eights are 64 operations uh, will be required here so therefore uh, order of n square is very 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 bigger value than n log n for uh, for this one here if you have any question in log base to log base to so 8 in the sense it could be taken log base to so 2 cube therefore it could be 3 so that is why i have written 3 here i have written 3 here 8 3 is a 24 and 8 square will be 8 into 8 64 so look at this how much gap will be there approximately 40 operations gap gap will be there for small input a very small input if you take very huge in the sense n will be equal to some so 10 power 20 will be taken by you how much gap will be there you could understand so what is the <coughs> what is the so magnitude of the particular gap you please understand so that is why this application of course of course i'd like to say this particular application has gives you proper answer answer has given to you a given list of elements will be taken so answer has given to you but it could be taken huge amount of time to eliminate this one i'd like to i have prepared one particular uh, algorithm for you look at this i have given one example also on this particular thing here algorithm so here as far as uh, divide and conquer technique in pizza you have to mention one of the functions very important functions this is partition what do you mean by partition here in the sense you have taken several number of elements here use number of elements so element one element two element three and so on n number of elements will be taken by you and uh, you have to consider the first and foremost element as uh, first and foremost as a pivot this is pivot after so partition operation or partition algorithm uh, function has been completed pivot value could be moves somewhere else to somewhere else it could be moved from here to so somewhere else uh, in the middle of uh, middle or anywhere else whatever it may be so it could be moved somewhere else so let me say uh, it has been it has, it has been moved from from first position to this particular position so here it is a pivot element let us consider after uh, first partition algorithm gets over then p hotel will be identifies and checks its uh, original place after starting then these are the elements less than or equal to so p word, and these are the elements greater than or equal to so p word here okay so always you need to identify the p word element by taking one example uh, sorry one function or one algorithm that is called as a partition partition is always trying to make the given list uh, into two different partitions okay let me explain how they can be divided. Let me explain by taking one example after some time. Don't worry about that particular example. I have a given complete example to you. 
Now, let us take <coughs> x equal to a of p. So, uh, first, uh, first and foremost element will be p, and the second element, the last element will be q. So, here I have taken, you can, you can rename them a p in terms of p first and in terms of q last, you could take your own names, that doesn't matter for us. x equal to x in the sense, uh, it is a pivot element. P word. I am unable to write the pivot here. Already P is there, so that is why I have taken X here. Now I equal to P, and for J equal to, look at this. I have used only one for loop. I have used only one for loop. I did not use more than one for loop here. So equal this. So J equal to P plus one to Q. Continue the process. If this is statistical, it will be true. Then if F J is less than or equal to X. If so f j is less than or equal to x, then what shall we have to do? I will be gets incremented. I will be identifies first position. So that must be incremented. That must be goes to next position. And then uh, swap f i with uh, f j. Okay. I have given very clear example. Don't worry about that. Then this process will continue. Uh, this process will be goes uh, down and the for loop will be continued. Okay, look at this. It is a linear kind of application. This is just a linear. So, for i equal to 1 to n in the sense, so what is the complexity of that particular application? Just here, if it is possible. So, here as far as this particular application, so the complexity of this term loop will be q. We go of q. So, you are claiming that you have used two while loops and you are claiming that uh, uh, the, the, the uh, complexity will be we go of n log n. So that is wrong actually. The perception is wrong actually. So in this way, you have to develop. And finally, after completion of this parallel, we have to identify the pivot element actual place. For this one, if p is not equal to q, sorry, i, p is not equal to i, p in the sense first element, I think, yeah? i in the sense it could be moved, moved, moved towards the uh, right side, and then it could be taken. Then swap f p with f g. Okay, so return i. What about the position? Where exactly you have to, you have uh, identified the middle position has been written to fix up. Look at this. This is the algorithm. Very simple algorithm. Not much, uh, uh, not much. Very bigger. Very simple. If you write, if you look into your algorithm, it could be seems very lengthy and hectic. It is very simple algorithm. And then followed by, followed by, you can see fix up algorithm. Actual algorithm can be taken taken like this, if uh, uh, as far as your algorithm, first and the last, if the first and the last, first is less than last, you can continue, r equal to partition of a comma p. So partition will be taken, so where exactly p word element will be situated after completion of partition. Then followed by fix out uh, of a comma p comma r minus one, r is a position, minus one can be taken, and the fix out a comma r plus one comma q. Simple, very simple. Okay, then here initially the uh, at the initial class or uh, initial class in the sense initial instantiation of your program will be seems like this. This is the way which could be instantiated instantiation here. If you were uh, uh, if you were programming language will be satisfied as uh, the, the the what is it uh, index value for array will be zero. You have to pass zero here and n minus one here. Since it is algorithm a comma one comma n, if it is uh, implemented by using C, C++ or Java, a comma zero comma n minus one. Okay, based on our index values of arrays, we have to do it. Then followed by, so here two cases will be there. If p will be equal to zero, q equal to one. That means you have only one element. You have only one element. Otherwise, if p will be equal to one and q also equal to one. It's also the same condition, only one element. Then uh, these two cases, p is uh, less than p is less than q, is uh, goes with false. So, th so that is why your algorithm, sorry, your array might be having single element only. So one element. So because of having one element, the the, the array is already the list of elements is already sorted. Okay. And the empty array contains zero or uh, one. Okay, let us consider this. One. So this algorithm. Let us execute this particular this particular uh, so algorithm in the next slide. Coming slides. Okay, look at this. 
this is our algorithm i have already given to you then let us take one example x will be equal to 6 how could you consider so this is the list of elements i am taking at this particular element as p vertical element so our p vertical element is 6 then around this particular value x equal to p so p in the sense of 1 so x so this this particular area i mean first element is going to identified by i and j equal to p plus 1 that is 1 plus 1 2 so then uh, less than uh, less than or equal to q that is q in the sense totally 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 elements are there so 2 is uh, less than 8 less than or equal to 8 as it is true so continue look at this so here the condition is what is the condition we have been taken here a of j is less than or equal to x. That is, a of j is a 10. 10 is less than or equal to 6 parts. That is why it's been goes to next position. A of j is less than x. 13 is less than 6. No, again it is parts. So it will be goes to next position. Next position in the sense, in this way. A of j, that is 5. 5 is less than or equal to 6. Yes, it is true. Therefore, I will be moved to next position i equal to i plus 1 and then you have to swap whatever the elements which have been uh, represented in uh, red color so this particular element and this particular element both will be get swapped swap together this value will be here this value will be here okay then obviously the elements are going to be swapped here so here swapping was operated then uh, j will be moved to next location so now pivot element is already six only Pivot element has not been changed. So then for f j that is 8 is less than or equal to x, false again. So 3 is less than or equal to now j value is 3, 3 is less than or equal to x. So yes, this, this, this condition is true. Therefore, i value will be moved towards uh, the right for one step. And then now 13 will be replaced with 3, 3 will be replaced with 13. I mean swapped with 13. So these two will be get started okay then uh, the, the the array will be looks like this so array will be looks like this 13 will be the so move to uh, this place and uh, 13 will be moved here to here and uh, it could be done then followed by so one more value that is j equal to 2 f j is less than f j is less than or equal to x so 6 is uh, sorry 2 is less than or equal to 6 yes it, yes, it is true since it is true move the value of i towards the uh, right side and then you have to replace uh, yeah my pen is already so replace sorry not replace swap so this swap this one. so here okay after swapping hope that you do understand i'd like to keep uh, some two to three uh, five seconds or six seconds you just to go through it Then, then <coughs> look at this. X, six, six, so, six, uh, since uh, x equal to six, the previous array will be seems in such a way. So I will be stayed at uh, this location, and uh, j will be moved for, towards eleven. So eleven is less than or equal to six. It is false. Since it is false, it will be goes to next location, out of the boundary. So no elements are there at uh, j's place here. So condition is gets over. I mean, this for loop is uh, this per, this entire for loop is gets over. Now what we are trying to do? If p not equal to i, what is the value of p here? P will be equal to one. So i value equal to what is the i value? For example, i value will be one, two, three, four. I value equal to four. P not equal to i. Then what shall we have to do here? Is so we have to so we have to swap these two values this value will be swapped here and this value will be swapped here okay so i and the pivotal values are going to be swapped then the actual position of a pivot has been identified this is the actual position you can observe all these elements are less than or equal to six that is pivot element and all these elements are greater than or equal to 6. That is P word element. Therefore, therefore, the first recursive call is gets over. And uh, 
value of uh, the i. I value is 4 here, 4 will be returned to Pixar. And next recursive class will be, so totally 8 elements are there. Next recursive class will be a and the pivot level, uh, p value is 1. Uh, okay, let me say that is p, then followed by i value is 4. So 4 minus 1, that is 3. So 1, 2, 3, 1 sublist and 4, uh, uh, 5, 5, sorry, 5 to 8, another sublist. Okay, so this 1, 2, 3, these are the 1, 2, 3 list of elements and these are the 5 to 8 uh, list of elements. And this process will continue on this sub particular sublist and this particular sublist also. Both sublists are supposed to be taken into consideration for performing some sort operation on the sublist. Okay, this is the example. So if you have any questions, then you have to drop your questions in Google Classroom, then I'll answer them. And go through this particular video one more time. So then you could get very much clarity regarding for this particular Pixar. Pixar is pretty much important, very, very, very important. Okay, that's the next and the great dynamics, however. Now, time complexity. How could you calculate the time complexity here? There are several assumptions which you have to make here. First assumption will be so all elements are distinct. Of course, equal also, there is no problem at all, but we have to consider that all elements are distinct. Normally, sorting operation will be gets operated on key attributes, primary key attributes. Since they are operated on primary key attributes, so always the primary key attributes are uh, uh, what kind of attributes without any duplicates? We don't have any duplicates. So therefore, this uh, agenda, this, this this particular point will be, this particular point will be get satisfied in real time. Of course, while executing of you might not satisfy, but in real time it could be get satisfied. Secondly, worst case t of n will be the worst case running complexity for n number of elements, n will be greater than, so here I'd like to write, n will be greater than one number of elements. Okay. Then followed by, so input might be, in terms of uh, three different orders, one is non-descending order, that is an ascending order, which will be gives you one, two, three, four, and so on, something like this. Descending order, which will be gives you, so four, and so on, four, three, two, one, something like this. This is a descending order, this is a descending order, and at random order. Random order in the sense one, three, uh, then two, then four, something like this. Okay, at random order. If random order will be there with you, if random order will be there with you, then it will be leads you, so n log n, n log n. Okay, if uh, descending order or ascending order, for these two kinds, for these two kinds, it could be n square. Let me explain how this works. Let me explain. Okay, it is n log n and it is n square. So that is why real time for real time applications it never touch n square because in real time people will not come in a queue format. One will be first operated, two will be first or second operated, third third person will be. I mean the register number third will be next operated. If you go for the paying the fee, they will call you in the same order. No, who will be there at the queue? So you see if this method, people will be taken uh, uh, amount from you and they will give or tear up the receipt and it will be hand over to you. So therefore, in real time applications, there is no problem. But in uh, uh, academy applications, while you are learning something, you are learning something, obviously you may be, you may be operate uh, in certain terms of you may be give input something like this or you may be give input something like this. Okay? However, whatever it may be, let us go ahead. Case one. Here we have three cases. Case one is n will be equal to single element. So case two is n will be greater than one with the random order. n will be greater than both with the, either it is a ascending order or it is a descending order. Three cases are there. Okay, let us evaluate one, two, three, four cases. One, two, three cases, let us do it. You have only one element with you. Single element is there. If you, start, if you want to sort single element, it is already in sorted order. So therefore, here yeah, one equal to one. Let us consider this is equation one. Okay. Again, evaluation there. And that if number of elements in the given list of elements will be greater than one, so more than more than oh, it is sorry, 
it is not uh, it is not exactly it is greater than one greater than one and uh, provided you have to take into consideration at the random order they are not uh, either non descending orders or descending order random order okay so random order then so to solve the first sub list so just before we have seen to solve the first sub list so look at this to solve this one this sub list it could be taken t of n by 2 times and uh, t of again n by uh, 2 times and it could be made several number of uh, several number of uh, comparisons and the two swap operations are being operated so just go back and see comparisons will be many so here you could see many number of uh, comparisons will be get uh, operated here n number of uh, uh, comparisons will be there if actually n elements will be there that this is first swap and this is second swap these two swaps must be gets operated so therefore so here we have taken so here we have taken t of n by 2, t of n by 2 per first half, t of n by 2 per second half, c, c in the sense number of swaps, and how many comparisons will be happen for t of n, that is t of n, uh, sorry, n number of comparisons will be gets up. So if you combine or if you evaluate this particular problem, then you could get uh, t of n equal to 2 into t of n by 2 plus c n. Okay, equation number 2, and here, Identify the value of t of n by 2, that is 2 into n by 4 plus uh, c of n by 2. Because n number of comparisons will be happen for n elements, then uh, input is n by 2 number of elements. How many number of comparisons? n by 2 only. Okay. Then this is equation number 3. Then go for equation number four, 3 and 4 also, that is t of n by 4 value also identified 2 into t of n by 8 plus c into n by 4. Okay. Equation number 4. Then substitute equation 4 and 3 in 2. That is the next operation. Look at this. Equation 3 and 2 will be, 3 and 4 will be substituted in equation 1. Equation 2, 2 will be this one. Substitute this value. So since uh, from equation, from equation, equation 3, we got this particular value. We got this particular value from equation number 3. Okay. Then, uh, then uh, if, you, if you solve this one, 2 square into 2 square into n by 4, t of n by 4 plus. So look at this, uh, this, this 2 and uh, this 2 will be get cancelled so that cn will be left over. So 2 into t of uh, n by 4, 2t, two 2t two of n by 4, so plus uh, c into n by 2. So this is the actual equation which we have with us, which we have with us. If you elaborate this one, so 2 square into t of uh, n by 4, n by 4 plus 2 into c n, uh, n divided by 2. This 2, this 2 will be gets cancelled, c n will be left over here. I am talking about only this area. And this c n plus uh, already existed c n, this c n will be taken as it is 2 c n. That is why you got 2 c n. Okay. Then substitute the value of t of n by 4 from equation so 4 from equation 4 if you look into this one like this 2 square into 2t two n by 8 plus c of uh, n by 4 then here also 2 square into 2 that is 2q so t of n by 8 plus so this is 2 square value 4 value will be gets cancelled cn plus uh, 2cn is 3cn that's what uh, that's how we have to get this particular thing. And uh, this could be convert everything in terms of uh, powers, two powers, already two, two cube is there, eight also been converted into two cube and three cm. Now, continue this process for the k recursive columns. Okay, then uh, this equation will be seems two power k into t of n by two power k plus k cm. Let us consider this is equation five. Then, so as per the original hypothesis of uh, the divide and conquer application, what is the original hypothesis? So if k recursive calls will be happen, then uh, n will be divided into, n will be, number of elements, n will be divided into a single, single list or required number of, uh, required number of uh, sub lists. So therefore, 
then we have to go ahead with n equal to 2 power k. Equation number small one. Apply log on both sides, then log base to n equal to log base to n, log base to 2 power k, which will be leads something like this. k equal to n log, n log, sorry, log n. And substitute this equation 1 and 2 in 5. In 5. What is the fifth equation? T of n equal to T of n equal to 2 power k into T of n by 2 power k plus kcn. Substitute the values uh, where exactly you may be required. 2 power k. Instead of 2 power k, you could substitute uh, uh, n. Instead of uh, k, you have to substitute log base to n. So something seems like this. n into T of n by n plus log base to cn. And here, yeah, T of uh, n by n equal to T of 1. T of 1 value is uh, 1 as per the equation 1. So therefore, n plus log base to n into cn. CN. So it could be when compared to this particular value, when compared to this, this particular value, this particular value is very much greater than n. So therefore, we have to eliminate smaller values or smaller uh, 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 lower, lower terms from the complexity. So it could be seen like this. That c is a constant, then you have to eliminate that one also. Then you could get n log base to n. Okay. Finally, we have an equal to big O of n log base to n. In this way, you got that. If uh, things will be at uh, uh, descending order or ascending order, if things will be seen at a descending order, or I have just copied a thing. I'm sorry for this. I have just copied here. Okay. Descending order or uh, ascending order. For example, we'd like to take uh, descending order example. Okay, descending order in the sense 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So let us uh, sub submit this one for uh, quick start and how it could be gets executed. Look at this. So pivot element will be at right side and all elements which are available only with the left side. Right side sublist is null. There is no element. Okay, this is uh, null. Nothing. That is a zero number of elements are there. And, so, and, and, and this, this, this process will continue. Look at this here also. Right side elements are again five. Okay, left side we have elements, but right side we don't have any single element. Again same, again same. And finally you could get the answer, but right side you don't have single element with you. So this, uh, uh, this kind of approach will be there. Okay, left side we have elements to be solved. But right side, even single element also not uh, available. So it could be seen something like this. You have taken uh, pivot element here. This is pivot element. After first recursive call, uh, the pivot element will, will be moved towards this particular area. On right side, nothing is there. No element is there. But left side, you have some kind of elements. Left side, you have got some kind of elements. So if this situation could be there with you, if such kind of situation could be there with you, that how could you evaluate this one here? How could you evaluate this one here? Look at this, how this could be gets evaluated. So look at this. Cn, initially, number of components will be, swap operations will be C. So number of elements will be here. So at right side, you do have any elements? No, no element is there. So that is why T of zero. T of zero in the sense, that is zero. So at left side, you can consider this particular left hand side, so you have C of n minus 1. One element is already sorted. How many elements are there here? n minus 1. So number of components will, number of swaps will be n. So therefore, right side again, in the second recursive call, do you have any element? No. Left side, n minus 2 number of elements. Look at this, n minus 2 number of elements. Now this process will continue for several times. So C of n minus n into n minus 1 times. That is C of 1 times. Okay, only one component. Therefore, if you collect, if you if you collect all these things, what is the complexity? Zero. If you collect all these things, if you collect all these things, what is the complexity? Yes, you do have some kind of complexity here. If you collect all these things, what is the complexity here? Is n plus first one. N plus c will be eliminated because c is a constant. Okay, you may be mentioned, may not be mentioned, it doesn't matter. N plus n, n minus one plus n minus two plus and so on, two plus one. You have to write this one n into n minus 1 by 2. Also written n square minus uh, n by 2. So it could be eliminated something like this n square by 2 minus uh, n by 2. So when compared to n square by 2, n by 2, n by 2 is very lesser value. So therefore, half into n square. 
half is a constant value. You remember that one? Finally, you could get big half n square for uh, descending order or ascending order kind of uh, inputs. If it is at random, excellent. Could be worth excellent. If it is uh, either in descending order or ascending order, non descending order or ascending order, things will be goes very worst. Okay. This is the way you can apply. That's all. The only fix that has been prepared by me. Everything is gets over. Okay. Tomorrow we'll look into a matter of uh, MedSAT. So we'll see how MedSAT is being gets operated. Let me take. Uh,